Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I'm inside of today's video. We're going to be ranking all hype judges in the game right now. From the very worst all the way up to the very best. There's 24 of them now, so it's going to be a long list. But just quickly, I want to thank you guys for 200,000 subscribers. I hit it last night whilst I was sleeping. That's just absolutely insane. But the grind isn't stopping now. We want to get as close to 1 million as possible by the end of the year. So I appreciate if you guys subscribe and help me towards that goal. Also, I'll be live streaming every single day. I'm doing a bunch of giveaways. So make sure to check that, check that out every day. So let's dive into it then. So starting off with the worst hypercharge in the game right now, we have Miko's hypercharge called Soundcheck. So this hypercharge doesn't really help him too much. He has such a slow reload speed and he's super squishy. So it's hard enough for him to get value out of just a base stat increase that he gets. But also, I just don't think this stun really helps him out. With his super anyways, you're probably going to get a kill on most brawlers because of the damage plus with the star power stealing their ammo. So I just don't really see the point of his hypercharge. For me, definitely the worst hypercharge in the game. So next up at number 23, we have Pearl's Hypercharge, which is just still absolutely terrible. So the actual super itself, it leaves a burning effect for 4.5 seconds. But I don't think I've ever even played a single game where anyone has walked into that burning fire. Because Pearl's super actually just knocks people out of that hypercharge super so it just makes zero sense but the good thing about it is that you get a 25 percent damage boost from this so if you're fully heated up and you've got the overcooked gadget together you will shred through people with hypercharge but i also never really get this hypercharge maybe once a game if that so for me it has to be one of the worst easily so next up at number 22 we have sprouts hypercharge called fawns so all this hypercharge does is that it deals 500 damage a second to opponents that are close to the walls so that's just pretty much pointless anyway no one's going to go close to your walls anyway so to me this makes zero sense and people are still trying to fight the case that oh well this hypercharge is op you can throw it on the high safe and deal 25 percent well, why would you play Sprout in, in Heist anyways? He's got no damage, and you've still got to get close enough to the high safe with a hypercharge active. To me, that makes really no sense. Also, there's just so many more brawlers in the Heist meta right now that are way more consistent, that have a more consistent hypercharge. You know, Colette, Colt, so many damage dealers. I mean, literally, Colt just by himself can just click the reloader gadget and deal more damage than a Sprout hypercharge. So for me, it makes no sense. It's easily one of the worst in the game. So next up at number 21, we have Bell's hypercharge called Magnetic. So all this hypercharge does is that it homes onto the opponent with your super just like piper's homemade recipe it homes on a lot stronger but at the same time if the opponent is in that kind of weird range up close then it doesn't actually home onto them so again i'm not too sure about this hype charge whatsoever it's hard enough to get value out of a hype charge with a sniper because they have a slow reload speed and people can get out of your range easy so it's hard just to get those five that five second window to get value but the hype charge super itself I hardly miss Bell Supers anyway, so I just don't really get the point of his hypercharge. So next up at number 20, we have Shelly's hypercharge. So all the hypercharge super does is that it makes the super 33% larger, which in itself is just not good whatsoever. But she's actually received a few nerfs, which has really hurt her hypercharge. So the first one being in the last update, her hypercharge rate went from 2.5 supers to 3.33 supers. So she takes literally an extra super to get her hypercharge. But not only that, she received a nerf a couple of updates ago, just nerfing her super recharge rate and just after several nerfs shelly's hypercharge just took a big hit because the main reason why it was strong in the past was because you could cycle through two three a game and of course with a stat boost that was actually really strong but with all of those things combined you've got to consider when ranking these hypercharges got to take a look at how fast you get them how strong the actual hypercharge super is and shelly just really never ticks any of the good boxes right now next up at number 19 we have charlie's hypercharge so all the hypercharge does is when you super with the hypercharge it lets out free spiders which actually is underrated because once if you hit the cocoon or if you miss it the spiders will then go on to the next opponent so at least it's good in that sense but the main good thing about this hypercharge is that it got buffed it used to take 2.5 supers to get the charlie hypercharge now it takes 1.66 so you're able to get it a lot more frequently which is actually pretty good because you get those stat boosts but the hypercharge super itself isn't that strong so that's why it's pretty low on the rankings the next up at number 18 we have colt's hypercharge which all it does it makes the hypercharge super 100 120 percent wider so it doesn't actually help too much in my opinion the best things about it is definitely the 26 percent speed boost and a 25 percent damage boost because colt's hypercharge also got a hit in terms of its hypercharge rate in the last set of balance changes so for me i don't know there's a lot of flashier hypercharges out there this one's a little bit too boring and i'm hoping it gets tweaked in the future so next up at number 17 we have crow's hypercharge called utility knives so this recently got a big buff 
in the last set of balances, it went from 2.5 supers to get the hypercharge to 1.66. So that's a huge buff. But at the same time, his hypercharge super is so overrated. You guys are probably going to kill me in the comment section because against bots that don't like to juke, you can get a lot of value out of the hypercharge. But in competitive gameplay, I just don't really see the point of it. There's so many better hypercharge supers out there. It looks cool. It looks flashy, but it's actually really hard to get a lot of damage with it. You need someone to pretty much... You need to use the hypercharge super on top of someone and then jump onto someone else to get some good damage. Also, the thing that no one's talking about is the fact that his shield got nerfed heavily. So even if you're jumping onto someone, you're pretty much dead because you're so squishy. So next up at number 16, we have Spike's Hypercharge. So there's been a few changes to this and it's why it's dropped down. So the first one being is that the stat boost in terms of the shield has gone down drastically and he definitely needed that uh, stat boost with the shield. It's now only 5% and because it's super squishy, you can't actually get the most value out of his Hypercharge anymore. Plus his actual Hypercharge Super, all that it does is increases the radius by 20%, which again is cool, but at the same time, you should be able to land spike supers frequently anyways and confirm kills with the mythic gear and also it, it takes longer to charge his hype charge now so there's a bunch of nerfs with it so i think it's falling down drastically but because it's spike you can still get it quite frequently and i'd say it's still worthwhile getting next to number 15 we have jackie's hyper charge which it slows opponents around her for 1.5 seconds it actually increases the radius of the super by quite a large amount as well but I think this used to be really good before the balances. This actually used to be one of my favorites and really underrated. You get so many team wipes, but because they nerfed the damage that it gives you with the hypercharge stat boost, all the way down to 5%, I just think this one's falling off a little bit. You're not able just to run in and spam attacks really quick and get team wipes. That, that damage nerf really did hurt this hypercharge in my opinion but i still think it's worthwhile because with jackie you still get the hypercharge through taking damage so for all tanks it's still pretty strong so next up at number 14 we have primo's hypercharge so the hypercharge itself you jump into someone and it kind of sucks opponents close to you like a jackie super but i kind of overrate this one because i thought with the brutal talk that the actual super radius was much bigger but it's not. So I think this hype charge isn't as strong as it seems. It's still pretty decent overall. But I feel like anyways with El Primo, you could probably close the gap onto opponents easily if you hit a super on them because they're stunned. So it doesn't really solve that problem. The best thing about it really is that you can take damage and get this hype charge for free. And then you can just charge hype charge supers much quicker. And plus the 25% speed boost is really good. But again, I think I overrated it a little bit. It's not really the best, but because it's a tank, at least it's high up on the rank. So next up at number 13, we have Bull's Hypercharge. So when you super in with your Hypercharge active, you reduce the damage taken by 80%. So this is insane. If you can time this right, you can get team wipes so easily. You can get a lot of damage onto the save, like 30%. I think this is a really underrated one. The thing is, they nerfed Hypercharge itself. So you only got five seconds to really get good use out of it. But as I said, if you time it right, and with the Stomper gadget combined, you can get some really good players. Next up at number 12, we have Rose's Hypercharge. So when you activate your super with your Hypercharge, it will slow people around you until your super depletes, which is actually pretty strong. You can close the gap to opponents and especially when you combine it with her gadget, which slows people, it's a really strong combination. But the best thing about it is the speed boost and the shield boost. You think you get a shield damage reduction anyways with a super, you combine that with the additional shield you get from Hypercharge and then the speed. You think of previous metas, whenever there's been a max super and you've got a rose super combined, you're literally unstoppable. But then you just get speed boost anyways from this hypercharge and of course the speed gear as well. You can just run through people. The big reason why it's not as strong as before is because she got a super charge rate nerf, which again affected her hypercharge rate. But still, I think this hypercharge is really strong. So next up at number 11, we have lose hypercharge. So whenever you activate your hypercharge and super, you will instantly freeze someone. So this used to be easily one of the best in the game, but then they nerfed his super recharge rate. So effectively, you couldn't use this hypercharge, you know, shoot two pieces of ammo and then charge another one. That would lead you to just literally get team wiped. So you can't do that anymore. But if you time it right, you can maybe get two supers in a row. But anyways, even if you just use the hypercharge super onto one brawler, you're going to get a free kill every single time. So it's hard not to put this close to the top 10. It's still a really strong hypercharge. Now moving into the best 10 hypercharges in the game right now, starting off with Colette's hypercharge. So whenever she supers, she has a team spirit, which follows her as well. So essentially, this deals a lot of damage on heist. 
But not only that, if you use a push it star power and hypercharge super someone, you will instantly charge your super again. So the reason why it's so good is because you can get two, maybe even three hypercharge supers in a row. And of course, her super is so deadly. So you can pretty much get a team wipe with this if you uh, time it correctly. So the potential is there with the hypercharge. It definitely helps her out a lot. Next up on number nine, we have Jesse's hypercharge called Scrappy 2.0. So the hypercharge super gets a 50% HP buff. So it's essentially taking her Scrappy turret to 10 HP and an additional 20% damage boost but the best thing about it is that the hypercharge rate got buffed from 2.5 super to get hypercharge to 1.66 so you might think well why wasn't crow higher on this list it's because jesse's super is actually so toxic and so strong if you put this behind an unbreakable wall or just a wall in general it takes people so long to destroy a 10k hp turret and by the time they've destroyed it you're able to cycle to a new turret and then to another hypercharge you get the stat boost on top of this as well i think this one is insanely underrated you definitely got to make sure you're purchasing this one. So next up at number eight, we have Cordelius's Hypercharge. So whenever Hypercharge is active with your super, you will slow opponents in the Shadow Realm. But the best thing about this isn't actually really slow because you effectively can get kills easily anyways with his super in general. It's the 25% damage boost and a 24% speed boost. You can just shred through people easily. The bad thing about it is that you're probably not going to get any team wipes, but it does mean that in a 1v1 scenario, you would definitely get the kill. So for that reason, I've had to put it in the top 10. So next up at number 7 we have Buzz's Hypercharge. So whenever his Hypercharge active and his super hits a wall he will get his super back instantly. So a lot of people, myself included, were really scared of this because during sneak peeks he could actually get his super back even when you just hit an opponent which means meant you could absolutely just stun lock people. Now it's a little bit harder to stun lock people but you can make so many game changing plays. The thing about it is that again you can't stun lock people so it's pretty hard to get the most value. You can't really team wipe people with this but still it's pretty much a confirmed kill once you hit someone with your hypercharge super so for that reason it's definitely top 10 still. So next is the sixth best hypercharge in the game. I still went with a Fang's hypercharge called Dragon Kick so whenever he has the hypercharge super he can go through walls with it and leave a popcorn trail. So this hypercharge has got several nerfs. It now takes like four supers to get your hypercharge, which is still crazy. So you probably only get one hypercharge a game, but it doesn't matter. That's all you need to get a team wipe and make game changing plays with this hypercharge. Again, there's been so many changes to it, but I still feel like this is one of the best hypercharges in the game because it fixes all of Fang's weaknesses. He can literally go through walls. So how can this ever not be op now moving into the five best hyper charges in the game right now at number five we went with a bb's hyper charge so whenever your hyper charge super hits an opponent it will split off into two bubbles so this just wreaks havoc on so many maps i mean bb herself isn't the strongest but i love hyper charges that have team white potential and this hyper charge definitely has it once you hit one opponent it'll split off to two bubbles if there's another opponent behind then you can recharge another super really fast because bb recharged her super fast anyway and you can cycle through maybe two free hypercharge supers and you can get team wipes pretty easily again if you're on a good brutal map with good amounts of wool and a lot of grass you're able to make a lot of change game changing plays with this hypercharge so for me it's really underrated and it's definitely worthwhile buying. So next up at number four, we have Maisie's Hypercharge. So this Hypercharge still has insane potential, even though she received a Supercharge nerf, which meant that she gets Hypercharge less frequently. Once you get your Hypercharge, it just means a team wipe more than often. You combine it with your Disengage gadget, and you can cycle two, three Supers, Hypercharge Supers within one, and just get team wipes. It's absolutely insane. The damage, the extra DPS you get with it, it's like a spike shot with your super it's just insane to me it's easily still one of the best hypercharges in the game next as the third best hypercharge in the game right now we have dynamite's hypercharge called boomer so it's a common theme a lot of the most popular brawlers in the game have the best hypercharges in the game and dynamite is no exception so even though this received a big nerf it went from 2.5 supers to get hypercharge all the way up to 3.33 supers which is an extra whole super to get your hypercharge it's still one of the best hypercharges in the game easily so whenever you super with dynamite you get an extra 25 percent damage you know you pair this with demolition and you're dealing 8k damage with a hypercharge super not only that you've got like fidget spinners that explode after your super which then charge his hypercharge as well so that means again you can just get two three hypercharge supers in a row and get easy team wipes you literally 
one shot some tanks. It's insane. His hype charge is still easily one of the best in the game. So next up is the second best hype charge in the game. We have Echo's hype charge called Outburst. So whenever you have a hype charge at super, your reload speed gets increased and your super recharge rate gets increased. So essentially you just rip through people with the stat boost as well. 24% speed, 15% damage and shield. So you just rip through people and then you get your super faster so you're able just to jump onto the next person rip through them jump onto another person rip through them so the team white potential is just through the roof with edgar so it's easily one of the best hyper charges but moving on to the best hyper charge in the game right now we have leon's hyper charge called limbo so whenever he has his active hyper charge super it means that your location will not be revealed when you shoot and you don't lose your super so it's really weird when he shoots he's literally still invisible you just see the blades fly out which is just so hard to counter if you're on the other side of things and you get 25 percent damage boost and a 24 percent speed boost so you essentially got like a mini smoke trails with invisi heal whilst you've got the mythic gear active so your super lasts longer you're dealing more damage you're invisible it, oh, there's just so many things combined and it's just Leon anyways. He can cycle through hyper charges so easily. It just means that you can get a couple of kills so quickly. And then you probably just charge your next super anyways. It's, it's just ridiculous. You, this hyper charge is completely broken. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So there's been a lot of changes with hyper charge. So many hyper charge rate nerfs. So many stat boost nerfs. Which has made hyper charge a lot more balanced. You'll be safe to say that I don't think there's actually really a broken hyper charge right now. Like I think Leon's is the best. But I still feel like there's way to counter him. So, yeah, I kind of like this meta. But that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.